So it's coming up at six o'clock in the morning. This is Monday the 21st of June 2021 and today's going to be a busy day for me. At the moment, at the time of making this video, there are no train connections to North Macedonia from Thessaloniki and there are no bus connections either. So how does one travel from Thessaloniki up into North Macedonia and on to Skopje, the capital. I'm going to try and find out today. With Closely Observed World, I'm Christopher Walker and join me on what could be a difficult day. I tried my best to sleep last night, but it was difficult. Um, I'm reminded a little bit of the start of uh, Jeffrey Morehouse's A Fearful Void, where he sets off into the desert. Now, I'm certainly not trying the same sort of thing myself, but unlike a lot of, for example, Paul Theroux travel writing, um, there's never really that much focus on the feelings of the night before. Um, I was a bit stressed, so I went to bed about nine o'clock, tried to get to sleep. Um, around 10, I think it was, the other two people in the hostel room came in, turned the light on, saw that I was asleep, turned the light off, hushed voices, went back to the corridor, debated what to do. I tried to return the favour this morning because I had to get up at 5. My phone started beeping and I got woken up. I was like, ah, yes, I've got to go, I've got to go. Um, so I quickly turned off the alarm, went into the bathroom, had a quick shower, but I was scrambling around in the dark, trying not to wake my... Um, fellow um, dormitory mates uh, you know, if they if they're going to be quiet for me the least I can do is to try and be quiet for them so then I've just walked down uh, the hill from the hostel Arabas where I was staying um, I have a slight I don't know slight pain around just here over the chest because the air conditioning unit was on for the whole night which kept the temperature of the room right down but I'm so used to now sleeping with almost nothing over the top of me that, I don't know, the coldness has kind of hit me a little bit. Hopefully that will uh, sort itself out as we progress through the day because the temperatures here are supposed to exceed 30, maybe get as high as 32, 33. And I'm hoping when I'm uh, making my way across the border, if I don't have to walk too far, because um, I'm hoping not, but this is not supposed to be the border crossing that most people will be taking. So the plan then, I'm going up to Florina, um, which is the, the most northerly stop, I think, on the train line. And from there, I've been recommended to take a taxi for the next 10 kilometers to the tiny village of Niki, population around 200. Niki is a border crossing point, but it's not one that's frequently used by tourists. In fact, I don't think it's used by tourists at all. So I'm going to be going across there with my backpack and my orange suitcase. Remind me again why I'm taking a suitcase and not a big backpack. Mm, I think I'm just out of sorts really when it comes to backpacking and everything. Maybe I'm getting just too old for it. Could be that. So yeah, once I get to Nikki, hopefully they'll let me cross the border. I have to check out on the Greek side and go through the North Macedonian side, but because this is not a confirmed entry point for people coming into Greece as tourists, I don't think I'll be let back in if the North Macedonians reject me. So I have to keep my fingers crossed there. And then from that North Macedonian side, it's about 20 kilometers to the nearest notable settlement, which I think is Bitola. Um, if I can get there, I think I should be fine because I'll either be able to stay the night there and then get a bus up to Skopje in the morning or, if I'm lucky, even get a, a bus up to Skopje today. But I just don't know because there's no information online. Uh, North Macedonia doesn't have a huge amount of tourist infrastructure for these things, so I have to keep my fingers crossed. Right, so I've got the train just over half an hour. I need to go and get a coffee, maybe some breakfast, and uh, we'll go and take a look at things, shall we? There's the departure board and mine is Florina uh, and it's 646 that's train number 81 so yeah I've got about 45 minutes or so not half an hour like I said before so um, that gives me time to go back out if I need to get a coffee because there's not a huge amount happening here right now 
There's one little Casa del Treno, as it's called. Let's go and see what they've got, shall we? So, breakfast time, and uh, I've got myself a Freddo cappuccino. Might be the last one I have here in Greece. We'll have to see how it goes up in Florina. And a nice big pastry. This is ham and cheese. So both of those together, four euros. Not bad for a train station, really, when you think about it. It'll get me through the first part of the day quite nicely. So now, just got a little bit of time to wait before it's time to go and get the train itself. That's the train that will be taking me to Florina. Nice! <laughs> not exactly huge, not like the Athens train, which had about uh, 10 or 12 cars to it. Um, now I see why there were no seat reservations. I like it though. And off we go. Uh, so this part, this leg of the journey is going to take roughly three hours, maybe a little bit under that. Um, which is fine. It would have been nice to get up closer to the border a bit earlier in the day in case a lot of walking is called for. I don't really want to have to walk through the, hot, uh, the hottest part of the day. But if that happens, I'll just have to get my black umbrella out and use it as a traditional old parasol. So for now, I can sit back, read a book and watch grease roll by. So, Florina, it's a lovely journey, lots of things to see out the window, it's really pleasant, nice and smooth, and we've arrived right on time as well, which for a local train I think is pretty smart. Okay, time to go and check Florina out and then to see how to get on to Nikki for the border. Well, no sign of a taxi or anything so far. Um, maybe coming on Whit Monday was not the best plan. I have seen a sign pointing the way to North Macedonia, so only 18 kilometers it says. Okay, well, if needs be. And well, just like that, the adventure's over. Uh, got to Florina, found um, taxi company, 
the, the guys there were very friendly, uh, spoke good English, no go. Nikki, border crossing is completely shut, they said. Uh, one guy actually made a phone call to, to check. They were quoting 20 euros to get across to Nikki. And they said, well, I, I can go if I want to, but it's 20 euros there, 20 euros back. It's probably a waste of money. Um, I tried calling the number myself and there was absolutely no response. I should have thought of doing that earlier. Lesson learned, I suppose. Don't believe the information given to you by people who are far from the place itself. So I managed to race back down the hill. I'm on the same train that brought me to Florina. Um, I bought a ticket just in time. I was literally a minute before uh, the train wanted to pull out the station. Otherwise, I would have been in Florina until half three this afternoon when there's a bus coming back. Florina looked nice enough, but I don't think it's the sort of place I want to stay with all of my luggage for the whole of the day. And besides, I need to get back to Thessaloniki and plan what I'm going to do from here on in. Because it looks like North Macedonia is kind of a sticking point. If I could just get there, the rest of my trip, all the way back to Poland is fine, it's all sorted, but I just don't know how to get there. So we'll have to see what the options are. Um, I'll go and check out the international bus terminal and see if there are any companies with a, a departure for later today. Um, I'm happy to be going back to Thessaloniki to see it again, but I wish that it was under more pleasant circumstances than this. It's just funny the way it's worked out really. I don't really want the trip to end just yet, but there's a possibility that it might have to. Uh, I know there's the Ryanair flight out of Thessaloniki back to Krakow on Thursday, so I'd have a few more days in the area. But that's the last resort, and I don't really want it to come to that. I've tried my best. I've tried to get to North Macedonia. It doesn't look like it's going to happen on this trip. Maybe another time when things are back to normal a bit more. I think I was just... I jumped the gun, didn't I? I went a little bit too early. Yeah. You learn.